Let's, let's have that on camera. Well, all, I mean, all the pair of celebrities have ridden in this boat. I mean, Tom Kubat and Mark and Elena and soon to be Scary Barry. So I'm just hoping oh, to get in and out. <laughs> I, got, I got mentioned. I got mentioned. <laughs> That's right. He's official now. <laughs> David Wolf, everyone's been in this boat. <laughs> So heck yeah, guys. Scary Barry coming at you. What's going on, everybody? So Lake Wales, Florida, right? SIB from Skylabs, man. We had an absolute blast, guys. I highly recommend. It was amazing. Good morning, Graham. What's up, buddy? Good morning, Sunshine. You ready? <laughs> so guys, when we got there, the boats were already loaded up and ready to go. All we had to do was go down to the boat ramp, put them in the water, head out to our first location where we're going to be flying from. And what a gorgeous day it was, too, right? And guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Andrew Fuller and Jonathan Carr. Those two were amazing, guys. I mean, they made sure we were safe, made sure we were buckled in good. They were very encouraging throughout the whole trip. They talked to us in our ears, made sure we were safe during those maneuvers. And it wouldn't have been experience, the experience that it was without those two. Just absolutely amazing. And guys, let me tell you what. I can't say enough about these two guys right here. Drew Wired and Graham Detling, two of the best guys in the world. They were so supportive and so encouraging and it only added to the experience being able to share it with these two guys. To his credit though, guys, he has been in the drink twice this trip, right? He's just, oh, you're shivering, bro. Am I? I'm gonna give him a man warming hug. All right, let's get right to it. So we're approximately 4,000 feet on each toe, right? And uh, getting ready for the first pin off and the first SIV maneuver of day one. So let's do this thing. So the first day, the moves were pretty basic. Um, they got much more intense in day two and day three, as you'll see. And also the, the audio on this clip is, is really bad. It's pretty windy up there, but that also clears up on day two and day three as well. Guys, I got to tell you, when I was pulling these collapses, the one thing I wasn't ready for, I guess, was how hard you had to pull to keep it pulled and collapsed. It was insane. It hurt your fingers. It was really kind of rough. Guys, if you keep an eye on that hand of mine, man, you'll see it start shaking. I'm really giving it all I can. Everything that this old fat guy can put together to hold that thing down. I'm telling you, it was intense. I was so glad I had gloves on. So 
So the bean line stall was tough to pull down, but it literally felt like you were coming down on a cloud of air. It was just a cushion of air coming down super smooth, really soft. So this one's called the horseshoe and it still amazes me, I'm telling you what guys, how much you can do to these wings and they still keep you in the air, it's amazing. All right, this is the first time I ever got this deep into a spiral, guys. And I got to tell you what, these freaking G-forces were intense, buddy. Okay, so day two, we started a little late. There was a lot of cloud cover, low cloud cover, so we had to wait for that to kind of clear off before we could fly. But once it cleared off, uh, we got in the skies, and uh, I think I started out here with a, with a couple of spirals uh, right off the bat, which is, is always a good time. Also, I want to give credit where credit is due. All of the wide angle shots you see from the ground were taken by, by Maya, and I, I do apologize, I don't remember Maya's last name, but I think she did an absolute phenomenal job. On this spiral right here, guys, I ended up exiting it not too good, right? I didn't do a real good job coming out of this spiral, so I'll kind of walk you through it, what I'm thinking here. He's got me going into it here, just like the other ones I've done before. Everything work is working out pretty good. G-forces are getting pretty intense at this time. And now I'm going to start to exit that spiral. And what happens is I think I lean to the left, and I pulled some left brake when I shouldn't have. You'll see the, the wing on the right-hand side becomes a little bit unloaded and it folds in on me. I thought for a moment it was going to be trapped there. I worked it out, just kept pumping the brake, and uh, eventually it did, it did come out and I was able to fly. So this is what happens when you put a fat guy in a weight shift harness, right? So I was able to get a barrel roll out of weight shift only wingovers, guys. It was absolutely amazing, and I had so much fun. This was so cool. Very nice, hands up. Pressure now. 
That is so intense. That was a good time, man. A lot of G-forces, a lot of pressure, but very, very cool. Okay, so on these wingovers, uh, I started being able to use the brakes and not just doing the weight shift only, but the brakes are so important, which you'll see in this clip. Um, if you don't use enough outside brake, that, that wing tip will get really fluttery, really light, and it'll want to collapse in on you, as you'll see in this clip. So on this set of wingovers, I really think I started to get the feel for that outside brake pressure that was needed to keep these wingovers uh, with that wing fully inflated above you. Um, if you don't have enough outside brake pressure, she's gonna she's gonna collapse just like she did there. But as you see in this one, I really started getting a feel for that. You need to both brakes to keep that wing fully inflated above head. And man, what fun it was. Awesome wingovers, man. What a great time. Okay, so day three and cloud cover again was an issue, but these guys did an absolute phenomenal job making sure that if the weather was clear and it was safe to fly, that that's what we were doing. Look up at your glider and let's start pulling, break, 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 all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Okay, although I accomplished my task here, I felt like I could have used one more wrap on those brakes. Um, almost didn't have enough, I felt, to get into the full stall. All right, so we're going to exit and tap, release. Tap, release, let it fly. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Yeah, buddy. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We'll get you back towards shore. So on that course right there, take a wrap on those brakes. Tuck those feet underneath your butt, nice and tight. And let's start pulling brakes, 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 brakes. Tuck those feet, brakes, 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 brakes. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Tuck those feet. Tuck those feet. Hold them down. All right, now let's get out of it. So check, release. Check, release, boom, catch the third, let it fly. Okay, guys, I'd say of the entire course, a sat is my favorite maneuver to do. You get far less G forces, but you still get that spinny, flippy, awesome feeling, guys. I absolutely love sats.
Yes, that was a sat on a Wednesday. I don't know what that means. On a sat on a Wednesday. I'm so happy. Yeah, baby, Scarberry sat right there. Thank you guys for walking me through that because I'd have been lost without you. You rock it. Woo! Okay, on this uh, particular sat here, good buddy, my good buddy Drew let me borrow his wing so I could see what a sat felt like under a reflex glider. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but it was still a lot of fun. And here it is, my oh no moment, guys. This is why they call me Scary Barry. Not my best exit, for sure. Wait for it, go open back up. Wait for it. And that was a frontal. Okay, guys, so the last tow of the day was just kind of for me. I was just absolutely enjoying the ride down. No maneuvers, nothing crazy. Just enjoying the ride for the last, for the last part of the trip. And what an amazing trip this was, guys. I can't stress enough. If you're passionate about flying like I am and my friends are, you've got to give this course a try. It builds so much confidence in yourself as well as your wing. And it's just so much fun, man. It's, it's just a good time. I just got to recommend it. And again, a huge thank you to Jonathan Carr and Andrew Fuller. There's something comforting, strangely comforting, about being at 4,000 feet by yourself, but you two are right there in my ear. Um, you made this experience amazing, and thank you so much for taking care of us. So I guess that's it, guys, and I really appreciate you coming along with me, and I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I had making it. And uh, until next time, guys, this is Scare Bear signing off, and I'll see you in the skies. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming along. See ya.